M0 FXP Ham Tech. Let's show you how to use your OpenGD77 software firmware to send APRS to your radio. So let me just show you that it does work. So I just, I've literally just created this channel. So let's go back to clicks. There you are. I've got a couple here that I've done. So, and I've set it to PTT, the APRS, so watch. Okay, so 100% it works. But how do we set this up? First thing we're gonna do is go to VFO mode by pressing the red button. Now remember, if you hold the red button, you'll go to A and the B band, but we're leaving it on the A band and you don't need to have GPS or a GPS radio to do this. As long as it knows your location, it's gonna send your location. So start off just in VFO mode, and we're not in digital, we're in analog mode, and we're gonna show you how to select that in a minute. Just start off, just type in your frequency. So in the UK, it's 144800. I think in the USA, it's 900. So that's our frequency, and it is receive and transmit. There's no shift, we're not using a tone. Then press F, no, sorry, F, the green button. It's, I'll do a separate video with the RT3S, or the, um, it's the, what's it called, the uh, RT3S, it has another model, doesn't it? I'll, ring, I'll think of it in a minute. Right, menu, go to channel D, up and down, until you see channel details, select green. And when you go up and down, Let's get it into, make sure we need to make sure it's in analog mode first. Then we know all the selections will be what we need. VFO A. There it is there. Underneath the frequency, mode FM. If you turn, it will go to DMR. But we don't want that. And that's, you've seen how easy it is to set up a DMR channel. But anyway, FM. Then go, we're just going to go, you can see the frequencies, right? We keep VFO A, we're happy with that. We're not touching any time slot, dear master. We'll leave squelch as master. So everything we've got in there, frequency wise, is good, okay? So let's back out completely. Then we're gonna press green button again. And go up and down until you see options. Select green button. And it's gone straight to it, but you might have to go up and down. And the interesting thing is, look at this. If you go to theme, you can change all the colors. But anyway, I'm not going to do that now. Um, APRS. Select. And location. I've left it at GPS, but you can select channel. And then whatever you've put in the channel will, you know, will be the location that is sent when you transmit. And then we'll go down. I haven't changed any of this because this is more for auto settings when it auto transmits. But I'm just doing it PTT. So keep going. I didn't change decay, compress, slow rate, all that. I didn't change any of that. But I did change the mode to PTT. And you can turn the middle knob for that. I changed it to PTT. But if it was auto, then the interval would start to kick in. Um, location, GPS, interval. Okay, so that's it. So back. The key The key thing is that when you created the channel detail, so we go mode and then enter, go up to channel details, select. The key thing is that you told it to use APRS. That is crucial. There it is there. And when you did that, you selected the APRS thing that we just showed you. I'll just show you it again. Now, mine was already in there because I used the code plug. So, channel details, that options, that's the bit. All right, I can select it because I put it in there, um, I, you know, with my software. But we've chosen APRS 144, which is the pre programmed settings that I put in. I'll quickly show them. When you're in your software, you double click APRS here you get this window appear and you can add your settings. And mine for the 144, if I double click on the number one, are these are my settings, okay? Now, I can't find at the moment how to put them in on the radio. You've got a comment, name. I'm still looking. 
If I find it, I'll add it to the video. But that's what you need because that selection is what pretty much tells your radio what to do when it's using APRS. We want to save that channel. So just, you know, channel details, hit the green just to make sure that that's all good. Double check everything. And that's all good. We're very happy with that. Now press the top button here, this top one here. And go down until you see VFO new channel. Okay, and at the moment it's got a, it will just give you a standard name. So we're going to press the green one. And then you've got the create new channel. You go yes. Click yes, the green button. And it's created channel 12. Hopefully that channel, we can test it right now and it will work. And then we'll look at renaming it. But let's just give it a quick test. And it's worked, you see there. If we go into, on the FT5, you just do beacon, then list, then you tap the list. There you are, and it's there. So that, that's all worked great. So now we wanna rename the channel. So now when we go back into channel details, because we're in memory mode, remember that's VFO mode then memory mode with the red button. Press green button, up and down, select channel details. We can go to the name of the channel, which at the moment is new channel 12. I'm finding to delete that, you just press the bottom button here and turn the middle the middle knob. So bottom and then, and it sort of deletes it. And it's a bit weird, but anyway. And now we can start to type our new name, so A, and we want P, and you can do caps, but I'm just being lazy. Oh, I did that wrong, so hold on a minute. A, P, then where's R? R, you bit of a pause and it moves along. Uh, P, Q, R, S. And then just green it. And that's it, you've named it. I've got a few in there now channel that I've been doing and that's it you're all set up so if someone knows how to just put in that section that I showed you on the software and using just the radio let me know because that's the key bit that's missing here but I still think it's really interesting and you can see that it 100% works bye for now 73